Hi, but about 15 minutes ago, Michelle got an update from the uh, National Hurricane Center regarding Jose, which is still a hurricane. What's the latest, Michelle? It doesn't look like much like one, but yes, uh, National Hurricane Center is still deeming this uh, enough of a warm cord system that it is a Category 1 hurricane with 75 mile per hour sustained winds. Gradual weakening expected over the next two days as it transitions to an extra tropical cyclone. One of the things that we see happen when that transition occurs is that the wind field actually expands. Now this is already a large as in its size hurricane with a tropical storm force winds extending out more than 300 miles from the center of the storm. And that's why even though this is going to pass between 100 and 150 miles out to sea, we are still going to be getting some gusty winds. And as you can see, some of those outer bands of rainfall. In fact, first band of rain arriving along the coastline and going to be spreading inland this morning. The storm again, a category one hurricane with seven five mile per hour sustained winds moving northward at about nine miles per hour. It'll eventually start to turn towards the north and northeast during the daytime tomorrow. You can see making its closest pass to us on Wednesday with 65 mile per hour sustained wind. So an extra tropical cyclone at that point and still hanging around through the end of the week should be far enough away that the rain and the cloud cover moves out, but we'll still be dealing with some high surf and some rip currents. So today threat trackers medium winds will start to pick up a bit in the second half of the day, but even more so overnight tonight and tomorrow is when we'll see the most significant impacts from the storm gusty winds along the coastline and some off and on rain along with the potential for some minor coastal flooding at our high tide cycles and those will happen around mid morning. Looking at our radar this morning, we do have some wet weather now along the coastline and going to continue to spread northward. Those lighter showers for the most part will be lifting in and just the beginning of what will be kind of an off and on damp day today. Gusty winds and showers expected. Her, uh, tropical storm warning continues along the Rhode Island coastline. Current winds from the northeast about 10 to 15 miles per hour and those stronger wind gusts expected to start to reach our area uh, by the end of the day today and then overnight tonight. So looking at our temperatures, we're in the 60s this morning. Here's a future cast showing some of those showers moving in. This is at noon today. You can see through the afternoon and evening may see some at least interruptions in any outdoor activities. Seven o'clock this evening, the chance for some scattered showers. Gusty winds will continue and we'll take that right through the overnight hours tonight. Tomorrow morning should be a lot more going on weather wise with gusty winds often on rain showers, strongest winds and uh, Heaviest rain will be over Cape Cod and Nantucket closer to the center of Jose, but even through Wednesday evening, we're likely to still see some scattered showers. I mentioned rainfall amounts generally under an inch for all but the coastline, the Cape and the islands where you could see isolated two and three inch totals. Wind gusts strongest at the shore as well, 40 to 55 mile per hour gusts. It was strong enough to maybe bring down some limbs, branches and trees and lead to some scattered power outages in spots. Again, it's the Cape and islands that are going to feel more effects of that 30 to 40 mile per hour wind gusts across interior parts of Rhode Island. So the power outage potential remains low for our area through the daytime on Wednesday. This is through 1130 and I like how it keeps most of the activity south and east of Providence. So kids will need their rain gear at the bus stop today. Gusty showers off and on throughout the day. Temperatures make it into the lower 70s. Hurricane Maria back up to a category five hurricane uh, making its way um, 65 miles to the west southwest of Guadalupe. It is going to be approaching Puerto Rico on uh, Wednesday and from there looking like it'll pass near the British and U.S. Virgin Islands, southeastern Bahamas into the end of the week and the weekend. Seven day future cast. We're looking at temperatures in the lower 70s for today and tomorrow with those gusty showers continuing Thursday. Still breezy, clearing out the clouds, especially in Rhode Island. They may linger with some showers over eastern Mass Friday. A little cooler at 74 degrees, still breezy. The high surf continues into the end of the week and the weekend. It's going to be a warm weekend too with temperatures well above normal. Full future cast always available right on your mobile device. I'm lucky enough today to have meteorologist TJ Del Santo with me and he's keeping us updated online. I handle the on air duties. A full future cast always available there as well. WPRI.com.